Hi, welcome back to Satoku Tech. A friend of the channel was asking me about the LilyGo TTGo T-Watch 2020 and Bluetooth functions, and so I was looking back at the My TTGo Watch repository on GitHub when I noticed over here on the right that it says it now supports the M5 paper. I have one of those. Yeah, it's a cool little like uh, five inch e-paper from M5 Stack. I want to load my TT Go watch on my M5 paper. First of all, when we talk about using platform IO, you're going to want to make sure to watch my TT Go watch video installation step by step because I cover everything you need to know about getting platform IO ready. Yeah. So we're not going to go through that all in its entirety all over again because this video covers it well enough that they even call it out here on their GitHub page. So uh, thanks for that. Much appreciated. Hope it helps people out. Well, let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is I want to copy the URL to clone here so we get that URL. Now we're going to go into VS Code with Platform IO installed. There we go. And we want to clone a Git repository. Drop that URL there. Enter. Now I want to save it somewhere local. You don't want it in your documents because it might wind up, like in my case, my documents is on my OneDrive. So everything would be uploading and downloading from the internet. Hundreds, if not thousands of files. Not a good idea. I want to put it in my C temp folder. I'm going to call it my TT Go Watch. There we go. Yeah, and when you're working with Platform IO in VS Code, you want to make sure to pay attention to all the little indicators down at the bottom. Basically, right now, we're just cloning that Git repository, meaning we're copying all the contents of that down to that local folder. Let's see. Open it. Yeah, so you want to watch this. It's going to process the IntelliSense. Yeah, it's rebuilding the IntelliSense index. You want to wait till everything stops on this bottom bar here. If you get ahead of yourself and push the button too soon, you might break something. We're just going to wait it out. Okay, so it looks like all the smoke has cleared. And we have the MindTT Go Watch cloned from GitHub. And so now... We come down here to the default setting. I've already connected my M5 paper to my PC here, so I'm going to just select Environment M5 Paper. Okay, and again, it's going to load tasks and it's going to want to do its indexing and stuff, so we'll have to let all of that run its course. So, like I say, make sure to pay close attention to what happens on this bottom bar. You don't want to try to build while it's still doing something. All right, so it's rebuilt after I selected the M5 paper. I'm just going to go ahead and send it. Here we go. Yeah, it's got to compile a lot of things here. Here we go. It looks like it's getting ready to upload. Let's see if this works. Oh yeah, it's taking its time. You can see the little upload wheel is still spinning over there, so don't click on anything. That's what this platform I owe. You don't want to be clicking around on stuff. You want to do things very deliberately. Make sure all the wheels have stopped spinning. Well, here it goes. Wow, it's writing it out. I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty excited about this. This is going to be fun. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. This is going to be fun. Well, it just reset, and it looks like it's working, so we're going to go in the other room and check it out. Let's go. Okay, you can see it's booted up, and you actually control this using the scroll wheel on the side. You press in to power up if it's sleeping, and then you can press the scroll wheel up or down to go through the various menus. I did set up the openweathermap.org API key in here. Let's open that up. What? There's no data. Oh, I got to go turn on the Wi-Fi. I don't know why the Wi-Fi is turned off. Maybe it's just turned off by default every time the M5 paper boots. We'll go down into Wi-Fi. Ah, oh, sure enough, it's switched off. There we go. It's back on. 
and you'll see the little Wi-Fi icon will get solid black when you have a connection. There, there's our connection. Okay, let's go back out. Use the scroll wheel to go up. And now we can check the weather. Great, we're getting our weather data there. Let's set an alarm. four a m seven days a week that's my style let's check out the gps function here you see i was able to connect the gps module from m5 stack on the a port of the m5 paper and we're getting a good solid fix with like 11 or 12 satellites good gps data let's see i clicked on battery that doesn't have much of interest to me so let's go back I wonder what's under utilities. Oh, that's interesting. Format, spiffs, send GPS test data, reboot, or power off. And the last reboot was exception or panic. <laughs> okay. It did reboot on me a couple of times while I was playing with it. I love my M5 paper. It's a pretty cool package. Okay, well that was lots of fun. Okay then. Give this video a like, leave a comment down below, and before you go watch more of my TTGO T-Watch videos or more of my M5 Stack videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.